Rastafari is a black power movement with a spiritual nucleus. It is the only black power movement that come in the West that have at, 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 its, at its center a spiritual awakening. And that is why Rastafari is so unique in the Western world. It's fighting for the liberation of African people. Even though, especially in a reggae music, you hear people are twisted and are turn it round to make it mean something different. That means uh, white people all over the place now cannot jump up and talk about one love, one heart. Let's get together and be all right. Yet still, them don't go tell them family. These young white Rasta youth, we come from Italy and Germany. Them don't sit down and talk to them parents about our struggle, our liberation. But when a reggae concert, they, they might jump up about Jarrah Safari and I jump up about this and this and that. And I wear the most red, gold, and green. And I go like to them, it's more Rasta than you who come from Jamaica. And who has talk about Rasta? How that possible? How we allow that? Because they might usurp our thinking again, just like how them usurp and tell us Egypt. No, in Africa, when we hear about Egypt, when I was a child and I hear about Egypt, I think say Egypt was a place in the sky. Because I never know says black people are building the pyramids them and all them something. I never know that. I never know that. Because all of a sudden you hear says all some space people build the pyramid. We don't know says black people. As a matter of fact, we demonize Egypt. Because the Bible talks about Israel and Egypt. And most of us see themselves as Israelites. So they say, yeah, Pharaoh, Pharaoh are wicked. Egypt this and Egypt that. Yet still Egypt is the one of the cradles of civilization. So how we make them do that? How they make we how they make we come to freedom thinking? And them come to freedom thinking and engulf it and push it in a way that we now start to say, yeah, well you know we are all one and we are all this and we are all that and all them something. Of course we are all human beings. But there's a liberation struggle that is need to be one before. We start to talk about one love, one heart, let's get together and be all right. There's a liberation struggle that needs to be fought from everyone away. Everyone away needs to fight it before we can say, yes, this is that and this is that. Because we know say human beings is human beings. But it's not all human beings going to the craziness where black people are going through, where African people are going through. And if we don't find out and realize, say, that philosophy, that whole one race superior, is racism. Because I always hug up this and I hug up that and I hug up that. And they lose focus. Because I lose focus. And sell out Africa again. And Rasta will talk about this and Rasta will talk about that. Them go and go, go and like say, everything okay, okay, do okay. Now when you see them all of Europe, just like the, the leaders them in Africa. When you go, me personally witness it. When you go out of Paris, I will leave them politicians. Let's be a white man, them there with. Nobody don't know that in them go to Africa. Because when they go to Africa, they go and like say them is black and black and black and black. And when you see them in Europe in some party, up here white people, them all go up and go to sleep with them. And you have Rasta. You have Rasta. Musician and artist. Them they on tour. It's that them do. Them lose the push, them lose the, the focus. And that is what we need. We need a focus. Rastafari is a liberation movement. It's not a religion. Well, let me hear you say 